Hey guys, Dan Howman back with another investing video. Today we're going to be talking about all of the news that we have going on. I've been gone a couple days. I've been on vacation on a golf outing um, up north. So we just want to talk about all the news. There's a lot of stuff that's happened. Um, you know, we'll talk about all of it. A lot of it will affect the price. A lot of really cool things that are potentially happening in a couple days. So uh, let's begin. Okay, very first thing, I just want to remind everyone that I am not a financial advisor, a CPA, or a lawyer, so please do your own research when it comes to everything. I am just some guy on YouTube who's very passionate about investing, and I am using the research that I'm doing to make my decisions on how I am investing for my future. So, all right, before we get into these new news articles, let's talk about the Bitcoin price. Let's look at the chart, see how we're doing. So in my last video, a little bit ago, before I got back from vacation, I was saying how we have had a very important part right here um, where basically we wanted to cross over this blue line that we have been following for quite some time. So we've been obeying this um, channel that's been kind of going down for a little bit here since um, the beginning of March, end of February. So we passed the bottom line. We Basically got just over the top line, went back, basically bounced up and down for a lot. We finally got into this zone and we have closed on the daily candles above the zone. Now, as you can see, if I zoom in a little bit more, we are using this zone as resistance, right? So, or actually really support. We're using this purple line that I drew quite a long time ago as resistance. So we have resistance now, we have support here. We should have some support at the bottom of this if we do end up tracking anywhere below. So you can see we closed over it and then we tried to close back down and it was pushed back up and we are still using this as support. So this is what's going on with the price. Uh, let me just go real quick through the two trades that I have open. Um, I should have taken profits uh, on some of them and I did not. So my Solana trade is doing freaking amazing. We're at 19%. I should have just went all in on Solana. I was literally going to put almost all of my portfolio in Solana when we were down in this um, $123 to $130 range. And I decided to split it between these, which maybe wasn't the best uh, option in hindsight, but we'll see. We have no idea what these are going to do. So I've been up as much as 13% on my render trade. Now I am only up 5%. Um, we've been kind of going in this channel upwards for quite some time and going up and down. Uh, I haven't found any new information about the FET merger as well. This is my third trade open. And at one point I was up quite significantly about um, 20%. And then now we're back down only a couple percent, you know, five or six percent. Um, so that's the update on the trades. But now let's move over to the news articles and talk about what is going on. So very first thing is uh, everything with Trump. Hello. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. So we have the announcement of JD Vance. He is very... Uh, a very large supporter of cryptocurrency. So uh, this is a great choice for VP. This came official um, a couple days ago. What is that, the 19th? Yeah, so we had a lot going on on Friday the 19th. We had a lot of new news coming out. Um, so this one definitely is bullish long-term as long as Trump does end up being the president. Now there's a bunch of other things that have happened. Um, obviously the shooting happened and then we basically had a lot of the coins take off. Um, and did quite well. I have the shooting right here and you can see, oops, that's not, I'm not on the right one. Yep, here it is, Trump Trump shot right here and then boom, you could see a nice little, um, you know, 13 to 15% pump. And um, this is definitely bullish because he kind of has a, a little bit of a hate for the SEC. He has a very large cryptocurrency holding and who knows, he might get, um, you know, basically put in charge of a lot of this um, new changes when it comes to all the regulatory changes, you know, endorsing cryptocurrency. So that's pretty cool. I'll link all of these. I'll link all of these news articles below if you want to go take a look at them. But um, yeah, so he says uh, Ohio born politician and author is a self confessed bit. Coinist. So that's pretty interesting. Um, he's been very vocal about his support for Bitcoin. And, you know, we have Bitcoin 2024 coming up in a couple of days. Trump has definitely said he will attend. Um, and there's a lot of speculation on that one. We'll talk about it here in a little bit. But I also want to talk about some of the other stuff that's going on with the IT impact. And also, we even had Biden drop out um, of the presidential election. So, uh, also on Friday, 
if you live under a rock and didn't hear, um, CrowdStrike outage. This has a huge IT infrastructure that affected everything. Again, on Friday, um, if you look at the price of some of the stocks on Friday, you can see um, if I go daily and Friday is, well, what was Friday? What was Friday? 19th. Okay, so 19th. Um, there you go, right there, 19th. So we had a nice little pullback on the 19th because a lot of, I don't know that this uh, really is is about this. It could have been about a lot of things, right? So Biden also um, dropping out of the election. As soon as that Biden dropped out of the election, I saw a lot of the cryptocurrencies um, pull back pretty hard and start going red very quickly. I think, I believe that was yesterday that this happened. So, uh, but yeah, I just want to talk about the IT structure, um, IT infrastructure collapse. Uh, if you are, you know, all the planes and everything basically were grounded besides a couple companies like Spirit who were still using Windows 3.1, I believe they said. Uh, so it's kind of interesting, but I found this article just about what's happening. And it seems like they're finally, um, beginning to get it um, handled, right? So 8.5 million Windows computers were um, impacted by this. So it was quite interesting. So yep, a lot of that with flights. Um, I saw this interesting map that showed all of the flights moving. And then as soon as it happened, basically all of them got grounded there. Most of the flights were not going besides a couple small airlines uh, like Spirit and all that stuff. But uh, anyways, so that's what's going on. And apparently the CEO of CrowdStrike um, was in another company. Oh my God. I just saw someone else talk about it on the news and I forgot what they said, but was in another company where another type of thing happened, et cetera. But uh, anyways, CrowdStrike, want to talk about that real quick. Now, this is going to be the interesting one. So uh, a lot of talk about Trump's Nashville Bitcoin conference, right? So we have the Bitcoin 2024 conference coming in Nashville and it's going to be really interesting because uh, Elon Musk, could potentially be there as well. You see this right here. Uh, Elon Musk changed it to his laser eyes. You know, he's had a lot of hand in um, in a lot of cryptocurrencies. I remember he posted like the Doge meme a while ago and then Doge, you know, rose like crazy. But there's a lot of speculation because sometimes he does the red laser eyes. Um, and it's interesting. This person said Elon Musk has blue laser eyes. What coin is blue? And then a lot of people are talking about Cardano is blue. Um, XRP is blue. I don't know. When, when was this posted? I don't remember when this was posted a couple days ago, um, 20 hours ago or something. Um, I don't know. It's just going to be interesting. I don't know really uh, what's going on with this. So, um Dogecoin in blue. Okay. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. Who knows? A lot of speculation. This is all he said. I think Elon is supposed to be going to this um, Bitcoin 2024 conference as well. So it'd be really interesting to see what happens with all this. A lot of news. I'll leave links to uh, all this stuff down there. Um, and people were saying possibly um, ADA, you know, Cardano is also blue. So I don't know if you're picking blue cryptos. I mean, that's kind of like you're basically just gambling on what um, Elon means about this. But I don't know. We'll see if he posts anything else about it. Um, there's a, a new hard fork coming on Cardano. So some people are speculating that maybe Tesla is going to allow payments in Cardano or who knows the interaction. There's all sorts of rumors going around. You know, maybe Tesla is just going to announce um, that he's going to be accepting payments in crypto again. Um, he is supposed to be at the conference. So we'll see how that um you know, we'll see how that rolls out, see what happens, see what he says. It's going to be interesting. I think Tesla also has some earning uh, numbers that they're reporting soon as well. So that'll be very interesting. But this is what I'm uh, a lot of people are saying that maybe they're going to put. Um, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people are speculating that they're going to say like, oh, Trump is going to be like, OK, we're going to use 10 percent of our reserves in Bitcoin. We're going to hold them like a lot of companies are announcing and doing. So this is what a lot of people are talking about that. Oh, maybe this has happened now. I mean, this seems like a, a pretty big wild guess, uh, to be honest. But who knows? I'll, I'll let you guys read this. But there's a lot of stuff going on with this um, Nashville conference. And it is July 27th, so that is, um, I don't know, what, four or five days from now? So pretty close. That'll be very interesting to see how this works. Um, I don't know. Here, here it is right here. So speculation is high that he will announce Bitcoin as a strategic reserve asset, which could trigger a parabolic rise in Bitcoin's price. Um, yeah, that definitely would happen if, if, if that happened. But also, 
I, is that even a possibility, really? I mean, I don't know that, you know, I'm not a politician. I don't know much about it. And honestly, I don't care too much about politics. I only talk about it because it affects um, investments, right? That's the only reason I even talk about politics. I hate talking about politics. But anyways, I don't know that he has even the power to do that, right? Because the Federal Reserve is not a government entity, right? The Fed is a not a private entity, but it is not related to the government. So I don't even know how that would work, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, if he talks to them and they're on board and, you know, everyone in office is on board, then it could definitely happen. But I don't know what it would take to get that to happen. But anyways, that's going to be it for the video. Just wanted to talk about some of the news, some of the price action going on. Talk about my trades real quick. That is going to be it for the video. Um, been on vacation for a couple of days. I will be back to making videos more regularly. So that's it for the video. Again, if you do enjoy the content, um, please, please press that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And that like button. Leave a comment below. What do you think? And join the Discord if you want not a lot of us but uh, feel free to come in and chat and uh, that's it for the video have a great day everyone see you guys